Yes, so we will start with volume of Q. Um, you like times it? Volume of cube will be? Um, the volume of cube will be um, times, like you have to times it. Right, time side, time side. See, don't get confused, don't get confused. I don't know you were so much confused. What happens in area? In area, two parameters are there. Yeah. One is the length and one is the breadth. If we talk about the square, this length and breadth are same. Mm -hmm. So the area become side into yeah. side. That become area. Side times side. Yes. If I talk about rectangle, then my area is length times breadth. Right? So area is dependent upon the two things. What about the volume? Volume is dependent upon the three factors. Length, breadth, height. Three factors are there. We length, breadth and what? Height. If I take this phone, this is the length. This is the breadth. And this standing one. This is the height of the phone. So three parameters included. If I talk about rectangle, this is my rectangle. Length and breadth. That's it. I find the area. But if I want to find the volume, then length, breadth, and height. Yeah. L, B, H. Length, breadth, and height. This gives me the volume. Length into breadth into height. And as I told you, like in area, we have meter square, centimeter square. In volume, what we have? You tell me. In volume, you have length, breadth, and height. Units. Like area I'm units right. are meter square, centimeter square. What is the unit for volume? The unit for volume. Um, length, breadth, and height. That's the formula. Unit is centimeter cube, meter cube. Oh, the cube, the three signs. Ah, three signs. cube. We talked about cube, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, there is no such difference between volume and area. Area is a two-dimensional. Volume is three-dimensional. Yeah. Area may two things are there. Length, breadth. In volume, length, breadth and height. That's it. Yeah. Area is how much space the thing is occupying. Volume is how much space inside the thing. Like if I take a... Uh, this box. If I need to find the area of this box, so area will be dependent on the square, length and breadth. Yeah. Okay. So I will say area. How much space it has taken to be whole. What is volume? How much space inside this bow? How much things, how much gold gappas I can place inside this bow? Yeah. That would be volume. Okay. So volume... For that, I need this height also. No? Then only I can calculate how much space inside it. So that's why volume is length, breadth, and height. Yeah. Clear? Volume concept is clear? Yeah, volume concept is clear. Like, um, you use the cube meters. With, they have the little three, not the two, but the three. And you times, it's not only length times, but it includes times in height as well. Yes, exactly. Um, now two things are there. First is your cube. And second thing we talked about is cuboid. What happened in cube? Cube is look like this. Cube is completely made up of squares. Cube is made up of squares. Now what happened in square? All the sides are equal. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is called side into side into side. Length, breadth and height. All the three things are same for it. So the volume of cube is side cube. Okay. What happened in cuboid? Cuboid is made out of rectangles. 
now in rectangles the length breadth and height are different they are not same so the volume of cuboid is length time breadth times height yeah both the things clear yeah sure um sure but actually wait, wait for cube what do you mean side times side times side side times side times side means if i will say that a cube is there and it is having a side of 4 cm find the volume now you will think just one value is given how i am going to find the volume this is because the length as well as breadth as well as height of a cube are same everything is same like in square na all the sides are same mm -hmm. and cube is made out of squares so everything length breadth and height all the three things are same for the cube okay both the things clear sure in yeah, arch clear units is clear to you centimeter cube meter cube for volume it would be cube c for area it would be 2 and for perimeter it would be just nothing 1 meter centimeter kilometer right Okay. Yeah. Conversion, you remember? Yeah, no, I remember. How to convert meter into centimeter, millimeter, and if by chance you forget the thing, you can grab the donuts like we did, na? Jump. Oh yeah. Get the donut. Jump. Get the donut. Like that. Yeah. Um. Can you? But is it okay if you can explain to me how to convert centimeter? It is like the hundreds, and so I can write it down my um no notebook. Mm hmm. Sure. I told you one thing, na. Yeah, I remember that. You remember that? So it is kilometer. Uh, not meter. I will write first of all. Kilo. Hectar. Desi. Deca. Centi. Milli. Yeah, now we just write that. Yeah, yeah, write them out. That's why I'm writing, trying to write it clearly. Now this m can either represent meter, liter, meter, liter, and uh, what else it can be? Um, the plane for the volume. Yeah, yes. Gram. Gram, very good. Ah, Fatih, remember everything. He is clear just like that. Okay. I oh, forgot no, about the... gram, and you remembered it. See. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just whenever my teacher, my school teacher makes questions, I'll be like, oh, maybe, or I'll be like, oh, looks like something I have never learned before. But once I do it, I'm like, oh, I just, <laughs> I learned that before. It's so easy. <laughs> okay, so it can be either meter, liter, or gram. So it will become kilometer, hectometer, decimeter, decameter, centimeter, millimeter. Like this, the name keeps on changing. Yeah, can I write this down? Now yeah, just write it out and then let me know. I will tell you the next thing. Okay. Done. Now, next thing that I told you is, 
if we are going in this direction from big to small we multiply if i want to convert from kilo to meter i will place one here and zero up to meter and will multiply yeah if i want to go in the reverse direction like i want to convert from 1 mm to 1 cm i will place one and zero here and divide so you can just place these arrows when going from this to this multiply from here to here we divide so going going up you times we're going down you divide it depend how you have written it if you will write it like this vertically going down we multiply going up we divide and if you write it horizontally then going right we multiply going left we divide okay so just follow one pattern either write horizontally or vertically so that you will not get confused if you are writing horizontally then just make the notion that right side multiplication left side division mm -hmm. clear Yeah. Should we practice some questions now? Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, yes. हाँ तो yes बोलो ना हम्म 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 क्या होता है? जी जी yes yes जा 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 means yes in Russian. Okay, I don't know Russian. हाँ जी हाँ हाँ okay. Okay, the question is. Find the volume of cube when the side is eight centimeter. Volume of cube. Find it out along with the units. Okay. I wrote that. Answer. Hold on. Um. Oh wait, no, my number is wrong. Um, eight times eight times eight. What's the answer? Wait, is it eight times eight times eight? Yes, volume of cube, oh, side okay. times side times side. Oh. I forgot. Sixty-four, eight, nine, two, three, five, five hundred and twelve cube. Five hundred and twelve cubeness. Centimeter cube. Five hundred twelve. Centimeter cube. Yes, yes, yes. I told you along with the units. I want the answer. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, now, no. no. Uh, next question you are going to do yes. There is a matchbox. That matchbox is having a length of five centimeter. It is having a Breadth of three centimeter, and the height is one centimeter. This is the measurement of a matchbox. You have to find the volume of this matchbox, and this matchbox is in the shape of cuboid. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Quickly. Oh yes, okay. Yes. But they lost. But they lost. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen units. Fifteen centimeters. Um, fifteen centimeters cube. Fifteen centimeter cube. Exactly. Now I will tell you about the volume of a cylinder. You know what a cylinder? A uh, cylinder. What is cylinder? How a cylindrical shape look like? Yeah. Um. 
Can I draw it for you? Yes, you can. Okay, this will be a piece of art. Um, like this. Yes, this is how a cylinder looks. Now look at the screen. This is the radius of cylinder, this half portion. And from this center to this center is the height of the cylinder. Center of the top to the center of the bottom is the height of the cylinder and this is the radius. Okay? Okay. So the volume of cylinder is pi r square h. Do you know what is this pi? Um, no. Have you not done it in school? No, I don't think so. If that was the part of your savers or not, volume of cylinder. Or it was just rectangle or square, then I will, I'm not going to confuse you at this point. If it is not the part, then I will leave it. Because what I can see in your questions, it is just cube or cuboids I can see. Okay. So just think whether it was or not. I'm not sure if we... I think, I I don't think, think so. so. I'm not you sure think? about that. Okay, I, I will just give you a little bit introduction in case it will come. I am not going to deep in that because what I can see is just cube and cuboid are there in your syllabus. The questions that I got from your side, no? Okay. Pi is a constant which is having a value 22 over 7. Okay. R is always given to you. H is given to you. You have to apply this formula and get the answer. Pi R squared H. R is the radius and H is the height of the cylinder. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. You can write it out. This is just for your knowledge purpose. In case some question comes like this. Otherwise, I think cube and cuboid are enough. We will go with cube and cuboid only. Okay, so I equals to 22 over 7. Yes, pi is equals to pi. We call it pi. P I pi. P I pi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Now you just do one thing for me. That would be. Okay, I'm writing a question over here. Just read it by, it by your own and let me know whether you are able to understand this or not. See, are you able to do this question? Just check it out. Okay, in certain houses in Kony, a tank 3.5 meters long, 3 meters broad, and 3 meters high was made for collecting water. How much water will it hold? So, in certain houses of the earth tank, um, what does this all mean? Mm -hmm. this, what, isn't it basically telling me to do it? Um, miss, what is it basically telling me to do? Yes. What is it telling me to do? They are saying that there is a tank. So tank will be in the form of cuboid. Yeah. Tank is in the form of cuboid. Yeah. The length, breadth and height of the tank is given. Mm -hmm. How much water will it hold means? What is the volume of that tank? Okay. So what you need to... Because what I said, the volume is capacity. So the tank, if we want to calculate the capacity of the tank, we need to calculate the volume now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you times them. Yes, times them. And tell me the answer. One point five zero. Sorry. One point five zero. One point five zero. No, if you times okay. them. Or fifteen point zero then. Fifteen point zero is the answer. Yeah, how much did I saw wrong? Okay. Yeah. Fine. So, uh, this kind of question can be there from the volume. Now, tell me what next.